So recently Korea got a really huge update where they got the new storyline, a new endgame raid. They also got the level cap increased to level 60 and with the new level cap we also got some new skills for the classes. Now these skills are going to be called passive skills and how they work is basically they stack little percent buffs on certain abilities that you use for your class. So I want to go into a little bit of detail on these new passive skills and how they work. Uh, just because you know sometime in 2019 we will be getting the level 60 cap and uh, gain all these skills. So let's jump into this video and kind of explain how this works. So basically passive skills are just like an attack power modifier or critical damage modifier on certain abilities that you use but a really interesting factor is they actually have some RNG involved in it too. So I'll give you an example. The Warden's new passive, uh, one of them at least, is called Light and Darkness and what it does is when you use Soul Flare it increases your critical damage by 30% and also your boss attack power by 200. Now they also have another one, so when a Warlock uses their own Soul Burn, they also get a buff. So the buff is RNG, they have three different ones and each one is a better version of it. So one of them is increased critical damage by 15% and gives you 100 boss attack power. Another one is increasing your critical damage by 25% and the last one increases your critical damage by 50% and also increases your boss attack power by a higher rate. So basically you have an RNG chance to get one of the three ability modifiers. And it's just kind of weird that they're adding RNG to skills. I don't really know if I'm a fan of that because it's not really reliable. You could either get, you know, like a 100 attack power, uh, boss attack power bonus or a 300 one depending on how good your RNG is. Another example is the Awakening version of the Shadow Gunner. Uh, whenever they use their V, they uh, either get attack power bonus by 10% or they get a critical damage bonus by 20%. So there's a bunch of different variations of this RNG and all of them are pretty decent. I'll say they're not bad, like getting a 20% critical damage rate is not bad in any way whatsoever but it's not something you can really rely on because it's like am I gonna get a critical damage bonus uh, a, a freaking AP bonus or a critical chance bonus there's so many different variations of the RNG uh, for these passive skills and I don't really know if I'm a fan of that even the assassin has a pretty good one so whenever they use blue buff they get 200 AP bonus for 10 seconds Kung Fu Master is actually another one that got a pretty good passive skill, so whenever they use Searing Palm, it increases their attack power by 100, and their critical damage and focus recovery by 10%. Another example is uh, Blade Dancer, so whenever they use Lightning Draw, they get a crit rate increased by 5%, and also the critical damage increased by 15% for 6 seconds, and it can stack up to 2 times. So kind of like the examples I'm giving, you can tell these are basically just little like modifiers on top of abilities that you already use. And uh, they're all passive, so you know, whenever you use a certain ability, if you use your lightning draw, you get the crit rate bonus and blah blah blah. So, they're little bonuses. I wouldn't really say they're super important skills or anything like that. And it's kind of weird that some skills uh, for classes do have RNG and then others don't. Um, but I will say they're definitely better than the ultimate skills that we got for level 55, because most of those are complete garbage for the classes. So, um, you know, I will say good job on the improvement and see stuff. Um, but it's just a little weird that these are kind of like the passive skills we're getting where it's just like they're throwing like weird RNG buffs into there. Um, but I just wanted to see what you guys thought about this. Are you guys a fan of the whole new passive skill system where it's just basically, they're almost just like bracelets or like a soul shield where they just give like some type of modifier whenever you use a skill. Uh, but they kind of just labeled as a passive skill. Um, but it's an interesting concept, I will say that. I don't really know how I feel about the RNG factor yet. Um, but let me know what you guys think about all this, um, you know, the level 60 cap, the new passive skills, and everything like that. So, I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff. 